sometimes when a golf pro or somebody might tell you something, you're like, well, that doesn't happen. That's ridiculous. It doesn't sound, you know, that's not what's going on. For example, Arnold Palmer said that he would, with driver, he was feeling like he was gonna take the ball and hit it underground. He felt like he was gonna take the ball and put it under the ground for the first 40, 50 yards of the launch. And then it would rise up out of the ground and go like that. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I am doing this whole project on the difference between taking a practice swing and then your real swing. Because basically I've seen it in my practice swing and really it only works if I'm actually hitting something. If I get like a piece of paper, or in this case, a Dixie cup. So I've really seen that when I hit a surrogate golf ball, not a real golf ball, everything that I've been working on in my golf swing just kind of happens. So there's great balance, the transition is totally different. There's a lot of things that are different. We're gonna do a larger project of, about this, trying to figure this out. But uh, today I had Dr. Kevin Sverduk out here, who uh, works with the USC golf team and uh, is a professor at Long Beach State. And Dr. Kevin and I were doing some, some different things. So just hit the ball between the gates. Okay. For me to get the same look and feeling into my regular golf swing that I have when there's no golf ball there. There's a huge uh, outcome, makes a huge difference to it. But basically this is the drill that is uh, making a real big difference. And the feeling is, just bear with me, I'm gonna take the club and I'm gonna take the face of the club and I'm gonna hit right on top of the golf ball like this, boom, straight into the ground. That's the feeling without letting my head go this way. So boom, right on top of the golf ball. Then the other part of this that's very important is have this little gate here to start the ball through. And I've noticed that in order for me to then match that up with actually a good strike, I have to feel like I'm gonna take that golf ball and I'm gonna hit it into the middle of this here. Now just imagining that you're gonna hit it low does not work very well. Having something there that you're physically trying to hit makes a really big difference. It's all, uh, it's all like connected to the yips, really. The yips are a huge version of this, but I think everyone has a little bit of a minor yip in their swing that makes them swing a little bit differently when there's a ball or an outcome than they do when they're just making a practice swing or hitting into an impact bag or anything like that. So the idea is you're gonna take the golf club and hit right on top of the golf ball into your right hand gate basket. For me, the right hand one is just important so that if I think the left one, I'll go like this. If I think the right one, I'll go that way. Just like that. Yeah, 281 carry with the range ball. That's really good for me. So that's the idea and that feels to me that feels like this, an impact. But the real is about, what is it, that? We'll look at the review of it. So that's the feeling. Really an ideal situation would be to have your surrogate ball here, where you're, you're just hitting a piece of paper, then you reset, and you go to here, and then you're trying to hit right on top of the golf ball. Yeah, just like that. 281 carry. So that's really a great feeling. The other thing I want to tell you guys about is this stick here. You might be wondering, what is that doing there? If I go to impact, and that's about what my impact is, because my head is behind my hands, uh, this, the shaft, is actually covering up that orange stick exactly right there. So from your angle, the shaft is leaning forward, what, not at all? Maybe just a little bit, like that much? But to my angle, it feels like I'm leaning the shaft that much forward. That's the illusion of it. So you're thinking in your golf swing that you have to get back to here, which is gonna be bent backwards. 
and also you're going to get to maximum extension here. You actually have to get, if we look, think of that trebuchet video, you want the, the ball to be gone when you have about that much angle, not when you have none. So that is the, uh, what would you call that? The, the chasm between reality and perception. Reality is that much forward, but the perception of it is that much forward. So same thing, I'm gonna take the club, last one, I'm gonna put it on top of the golf ball like that into that right hand basket. So hit a fake golf ball first, get up to it. Oh yeah, that was fun. Yeah, 285 carry with a range ball, that's good for me. I was sick for over two weeks uh, bedridden and I've lost some distance, but, but I'm getting it back. 157 ball speed with these range balls are very good for me. So that's just, it kind of separates the, the, the feel from the real. So sometimes when a golf pro or somebody might tell you something, you're like, well, that doesn't happen. That's ridiculous. It doesn't sound, you know, that's not what's going on. What, I, for example, Mike Malaska said that Arnold Palmer said that he would, with driver, he was feeling like he was gonna take the ball and hit it underground. He felt like he was gonna take the ball and put it under the ground for the first 40, 50 yards of the launch. And then it would rise up out of the ground and go like that. So Arnold Palmer's feeling, even though when we see his swing, it was boom, lined up just like this. But in his mind, in his motor control, the way he had taught himself to be a great driver of the ball, very powerful, was to feel like he was gonna launch it into the ground. So there's all these counterintuitive things and you have to find what works for you. And I think one of the best ways to do that is to do this, the flip-flop between hitting something other than a golf ball, videotape yourself, and then hit a, hit a golf ball and see what the difference is. All right, down the line view. I'm gonna take this club, put the face of the club, the top of the face of the club, right on top of the ball, like this. Boom, that's the motor control idea. And the, I want, I'm thinking of launching the ball directly into this right basket. For some reason, I've seen that when I think center or even left basket, I rotate this way and then it can be a hook off the planet. But if I think that right basket, and also what would be really helpful too is if you had a bender stick or a noodle or something like that, make sure you don't go off sides with this. All right, so here it is, the protocol or algorithm, whatever you want to call it, but basically the, the code to breaking your psychological idea of what you think you need to do to get the golf ball to go far and uh, what you need to actually feel to have a really good squished impact. So the three, three things are, take like a 50% swing, just air swing. Then take your golf course speed swing into Dixie cup or, or a balled up piece of paper, whatever. Really feel what that tempo feels like. And then hit a ball, but when you hit the ball, you're gonna try to do that Arnold Palmer thing where you put the face of the club right on top of the golf ball. 50. So our golf ball replacement. Always such good balance when you do that. And then we do our, I'm gonna call it the Arnold Palmer drill, Cameron Champ drill. So good. 277 carry. And uh, yeah, it was good. Put something other than a golf ball. It can be a Dixie cup. It can be crumpled up piece of paper. So the protocol is gonna be air swing, kind of slow, 100% Dixie cup swing. And then this Arnold Palmer drop on top into the right basket feeling. So. 
And really, when you do it, keep that same tempo from the golf ball replacement to the actual golf ball. And we're going to hit, we're going to drive this right into that right basket. Oh, that was great. So I'm here, I'm going to take the club, and I'm going to go boom, like this. If I could do a, a mini version of it right at the uh, center of mass of this thing. You see, without letting my head go, that, I mean, that's very extreme, but, and always do is practice swing first. And I'm going to put it right into that front basket. For some reason, having a real target there is hugely, makes a huge difference. Oh yeah, that's fun. Okay, I'm <laughs> getting a little tired. Thanks for watching everybody. Click the like button, click the subscribe button. We have a lot of uh, exciting stuff coming up, a lot more vlogs and uh, interactions with coaches and other stuff. Also go to BeBetter, go to BeBetterGolf.net and you'll see lots of stuff that doesn't come out on the channel on BeBetterGolf.net. Bye.